Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC. GPAC, current people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by the NSIC Player of the Year, Tournament MVP, Malik Willingham, of the number two ranked Minnesota State men's basketball team. Malik, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you again, man. I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. I'm excited. Yeah, we just spent a stint out in Sioux Falls uh, over the last weekend as uh, the Mavericks won their third NSIC tournament championship. Um, but before we get to that, let's start this week's show with you telling us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so, well, my name's Malik Willingham. Obviously, uh, I'm from Wasika, Minnesota, about 30 minutes away from here, which is super nice. Um, I'm a senior here, fifth year, and I'll be graduating with uh, my marketing degree coming up this spring. So super fun times coming up. It's been a great year so far, so I'm excited to see the future, what the future holds for us. All right, let's head to the past for a second. Uh, native Wasika, uh, why did you choose Minnesota State to continue your academic and athletic career? I mean, it's right there. Like, uh, it's just close to home, really. I'm a big family guy. You know, I grew up living with my grandma. So just, you know, just having her coming to be able to watch me and my brother play still, you know, we don't take that for granted. And we cherish that every single time we get the chance to have her come watch us. And, you know, just easy for my mom, my sister, you know, we can still be around to see them. And, you know, uh, especially being my last year, you know, I've just been taking the time to appreciate every single day, every single second of any time I get a chance to be with them, be on the court with my brother and see them come and watch. So, yeah, that was a big reason why I came here. And, you know, uh, the coaching staff, you know, they treat us like family. So, you know, it just feels like a family around here. All the teams are really, like, uh, close with each other. So, you know, I just love being here. But the family is, like, a big reason why, for sure. It's definitely working out this year. The Mavericks are 29-2, and two, the NSIC regular season and tournament champions. You're prone to host the NCAA regional. That's almost a guarantee, but not guaranteed yet. Uh, you guys were a 500 team the last two seasons in NSIC play. What has turned this Mavericks team into a national championship caliber team this season? I think just holding each other accountable. The team, um, chemistry-wise, you know, um, it was a big thing for me and Kai just to build a team, a championship team, and that comes with a lot of getting out our shell and just going out and making the team uh, more like a brotherhood. You know, um, I feel like that's why we're, we made it this far. You know, we had a lot of guys here this summer, Justin Egan and Eliza, Dylan Peters, Sam, uh, Kai. You know, it was a bunch of guys here this summer. And, um, you know, we talked about what do we want to accomplish this uh, this year, you know, and not one person said anything about stats, you know, and I could just tell right there what kind of team we were going to be. Um, we just wanted to win. That's, that's all we've been talking about. That's all we really care about. You know, um, winning takes care of everything. So, you know, that was a big thing with us. And, you know, if I had one word to describe this team, I would say unselfish for sure. Uh, your brother, Kyrese, is another major contributor to the team. You mentioned him. He's an all NSIC first teamer. He joined you on the all tournament team. Talk about your relationship with him and what it's like to play with him out on the floor. Yeah, my brother, Kyrese, he's like he's my best friend. You know, I'm just so proud of Kyrie and all the hard work that he, he's been uh, doing and accomplishing. You know, um, he's the one that sets the tone for our team. Um, he's the one that energizes our team, gets us going. Um, you know, I just it's so uh, it's so awesome just to see as a big brother, you know, see your little brother just pop up into his own, uh, you know, and just this weekend he played so huge for us every first half. You know, he, like I said, he set the tone for our team. Uh, you know, he used to be a shy kid, too, but. You know, ever since he got to college, his voice just became so, you know, dominant. He has, a you know, a deep voice. So, you know, it's very loud. And it's like he became such a leader in his own way. You know, I'm just so blessed to have the opportunity to play with him. I think the coaching staff all the time, you know, to give us a chance to do something on this platform. And, you know, it's just it's, it took a while for us to get here. But, you know, we can't we always thank God, man. We always knew if we just keep working hard, keep the heart, head down, you know, uh, the right time will come and you know you see it this year with us you know we we're going to cherish this moment we're going to talk about it forever but you know I love him so much because we're so determined to keep going and you know we're looking for the national tournament now we enjoyed the tournament last weekend but now I love this team because we're locked in for the next one it's been over a decade since MSU has won a regular season or tournament title in the NSIC. Coach Morgan Thaler mentioned that sometimes you never know if you'll ever get back to the top of that mountain what's it been like to play for him and describe the culture on this team that has made them uh, that's made the climb back to the top of that moment yeah playing for coach I mean 
it's it's so it's it's like I, I've been saying it's a family man he's does he does so much for us on and off the court you know and I feel like that's why we're at where we're at you know we I've been talking to coach you know since every time with anything since I've been here and um you know he makes it so easy on us just to go out there and have fun and just hoop and not really have us think you know like he knows we can hoop on the offensive side, so that's never a problem. It's just our defense, you know, and that was a big thing for me. I always focus on defense, you know, especially in this conference. Uh, it's the best in the nation, and to win games in this tough conference, you got to get stops. And, um, you know, that's all. He he loves uh, just ha he loves how we just can just go out there, roll uh, on transition, and then come back and get stops. You know, I feel like that gives us the energy. That gives us the excitement. And, you know, coaches – what gives us the freedom to go out there and play. So, you know, we love coach. The whole team does, you know, and we're just so blessed that he gave all of us the opportunity to be able to come play at MSU. Yeah, it's been quite the winter season for Minnesota State, sweeping both the NSIC men's and women's basketball regular season and tournament titles. That's the first school to ever do that. Uh, then Damn. the track and field team swept NSIC titles. Talk about the vibe that's on campus right now with all the success that's happening down there. Yeah, I mean, I think I said it earlier, but it's a familyhood around here. Um, you know, we're all so happy to see each other, you know, succeed. It's a, uh, it's crazy that we're all doing it, and you know, within the span of this time right now. Um, you know, we're all saying congrats to each other, giving hugs out. Um, you know, just telling each other to keep going. You know, that's the main thing. Uh, you know, we're not done. Uh, but you know, we gotta enjoy what what we've done. You know, you can't just. We always say jobs not finished, but you know, you gotta you gotta enjoy some of the accomplishments you've done. It's a great thing seeing that happen at MSU, too. You know, we're just trying to put MSU back on top, obviously, and just, you know, build it back to the championship vibe. The NSIC is going to have a heavy presence in this year's men's basketball regional with four or five teams likely to make the A-team field. How is this past weekend's tournament and the grind that is the NSI season going to help you guys prepare to host that tournament down at Taylor Center? Well, for one, I, I hope we're home. I mean, it's just – it's a tough environment to – uh beat us at home so I really hope we get the home game um but other than that I mean it's just it's gonna be crazy you know we've been battle tested all all year so we're not we're not gonna see anything different uh in this tournament um like I said we got the best league in the nation and um this tournament I mean it's NCAA tournament anything can happen it's March Madness you know uh you saw the first round of the conference tournament you know we came out sluggish but you know, you got to find ways. To, they don't ask how you win, man. They just ask if you win. So whatever we got to do to come out with the win, dirty, ugly, good, hard fought, you know, as long as we just come out to win, that's all that's, all that's going to matter. So you guys have made the NCAA tournament. Uh, final question for you. What advice would you give to a young player to help them in their development to reach that status? Yeah, to have confidence in yourself, you know, really believe in yourself. Um. You know, don't don't really pay too much attention to the outside noise. Um, you know, it's it's easy to get caught into the negative, you know, hang your head to not think you're good enough. But, you know, I always tell myself I live by this motto. It's called be great. Uh, I capitalize E-A-T at the end, like eat. So I just tell myself every day just to go out there and believe in myself and then be great. You know, just go show why, you know, you want to be great. And, you know, testimony to my hard work this summer with the coaching staff and the guys, uh, you know, it's just so great to see see all of us succeed right now. And I hope that we keep this thing going, you know, just believe in yourself. All right. Well, the NCAA selection show is set for Sunday night at 10 p.m., where the Mavericks will learn their fate. The top seed will be announced at 9 o'clock on social media. So keep an eye out for announcement there. But that's going to wrap up this week's show. Thanks again to our sponsor, GPAC. Malik, best of luck to you and the Mavericks at the NCAA Regional. Thank you. I appreciate it, Nate.